ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Jules Gia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. We have another exciting season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Kaya samahan niyo kami until the final week of competition dahil may tatanghalin na naman tayong panibagong K-Check Champion. Ang apat nating daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Sari is a student of UP Diliman. If she's not doodling on paper scraps or poring over fictional books, then she's probably listening to Taylor Swift. Nikos is a mechanical engineering freshman in UP Diliman. His hobbies are playing games and a few sports. He also likes to read novels and manga. Rav is an undergrad studying geography at UP Diliman. When he's not jamming to tunes, he's all about using remote sensing to explore different parts of the world and diving into virtual spaces to understand them. And finally, Tem is a UP Diliman Statistics undergrad. She loves team sports, singing, photography, and going cafe shopping. Her sole wish in life is to become a Golden Retriever mom. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First off, we have Professor Mitzi Reyes, former Dean of the College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. We also have Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry, also from UP Diliman. And last but not least, Professor Luisa De Leon Bulinao, former Chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. At ngayon contestants, good luck as we go into our first round. Get ready to buzz in, hopefully with the correct answers, which are worth 10 points each. Let's begin. This is the first round. Question number one. What mythical one-horned horse is the national animal of Scotland? Bam. Unicorn. The unicorn is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number two. How many sides does an octagon have? Bam. Eight. Eight is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number three. The Guadalupe Bridge, Quezon Bridge, and Jones Bridge all go over what river? Rav. Pasig River. Pasig River is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number four. What majestic 17th century tomb can be found in the city of Agra in India? Nikos. Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal, of course. Okay, check. Question number five. In what province in eastern Visayas did rains bring a lot of flooding to the towns of Catarman and Lope de Vega in 2023? Rav. Samar. The answer is not correct. Bam. Leyva. The answer is not correct. Sari. Tacloban. The answer is not correct. Nikos. Cebu. The answer is not correct. The correct answer is Northern Samar. Question number six. Which fictional bear lives in the 100-acre woods? Bam. We need the poo. We need the poo is the correct answer. Malapit na. Question number seven. What continent did the United Nations Secretary General visit where ice that has been frozen for millions of years is melting due to human-caused global warming? Bam! Antarctica. Antarctica is the correct answer. Okay, check. Mukhang alam nyo ang mga sagot, pero dapat mas mabilis ang hand to the buzzer. Question number eight. What metallic alloy has a name that it shares with the third place medal at the Olympic. Nikos. Bronze. Bronze is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine is math. What number is exactly between 
25 and 45. Because? 35. 35 is the correct answer. K-check. Question number 10. Did you know that hamburgers were named after the city of Hamburg? In what country can you find? Hamburg, Nikos. Germany. Germany is the correct answer. K-check. Question number 11. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from France to what country? Bam. The United States of America. The United States of America is the correct answer. K-check. Question number 12. In fashion this time, sabi ng mga boys, oh no. Which Italian luxury product company bears the surname of its founder? Bam. Versace. Bears the surname of its founder Gianni and is part of the title of a Bruno Mars hit song. And the correct answer indeed is Versace. Okay, check. And that's it for our first round. Thank you so much, Attorney Gabi. Tingnan natin yung mga scores nila after that round. Bem is leading with 60 points. Nikos with 40 points. Rav with 10 points. And Sari, habol pa sa mga susunod na round. So, ready ba kayo for round two? Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Siyempre, recap muna tayo ng points nila. Bem is leading with 60 points. Nikos with 40 points. Rav with 10 points. And Sari, pwede pang humabol sa mga next round. Yeah, so now on to round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is the second round. Let's begin. Question number one. What very popular board game features a word game in which players use lettered tiles to create words? Rab. Scrabble. Create words in a crossword fashion. The correct answer is Scrabble. K-check. Question number two. In science, what do you call the thread-like structures made of protein and a single molecule of DNA that serve to carry the genomic information from cell to cell? Them. Chromosomes. Chromosomes. Chromosome is correct. K-check. Question number three. Did you know that half of the world's lakes are in one country alone? What North American country... Sari. Canada. Let me continue with the question. What North American country has more than 800,000 lakes? The correct answer is Canada. K-check. Question number four. What word meaning a condition that puts one in a favorable position in a tennis term for the score after juice? Bem. Favor. Favor is mali. Nikos. Advantage. Advantage is correct. K-check. Question number five. Considered the world's largest invasive animals are the big, wide-mouthed mammals that were imported from Africa to serve as pets for Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar. What is this large mammal, which is just smaller than the elephant and rhino? Them. Hippos. Hippos or hippopotamus is correct. K-check. Question number six. One of the most majestic natural formations is the Great Barrier Reef, which is located off the coast of what country? Nikos. Australia. Australia is correct. Kiche. Question number seven. Which French novelist is the author of Les Miserables and The Hunchback of Notre Dame? The correct answer is Victor Hugo. 
Question number eight. What word, meaning real or genuine, has been named the word of the year for 2023 by Merriam-Webster? Authentic. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question number nine. Which popular baked Italian dish consists of wide strips of pasta? Yes, Bem? Lasagna. Lasagna. Let me uh, continue with the question. Strips of pasta cooked and layered with meat or vegetables, cheese, and tomato sauce. The correct answer is lasagna K-check. Question number 10. Recently, affecting the provinces of Cavite and Batangas, what do you call the period when a region experiences below normal precipitation that causes extensive damage to crops? Rav. El Niño. El Niño is Malé. Sorry. La Niña. La Niña is Malé. Nikos. Go ahead, Nikos. Uh, Tagpayot. That's wrong. It's Malé. The correct answer is drought. Question number 11. Which singer recorded the single Blinding Lights, which became... Nikos. The Weeknd. Okay, let me continue. Which became the most streamed song in Spotify in 2020? The correct answer is The Weeknd. K-check. <laughs> Nakanta na niya. <laughs> okay, last question for this round. Colombia is the setting for which 2021 Disney movie about a family living... Rav. Encanto. Okay, family living in a magical realm. The correct answer is Encanto. K-check. And that ends round number two. So, tingnan naman natin kung may pagbabago na sa ranking ng ating contestants. Sa ngayon, we have Bem, who is leading with 110 points, Nikos with 90 points, Rav with 40 points, and Sari with 10 points. Pero syempre, hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-check! And welcome back to K-Check! Okay, syempre bago tayo magpatuloy, tayo mag-recap muna sa mga points ng ating mga contestants. Bem is leading with 110 points. Nikos ay may 90 points. Rav with 40 points. And Sari with 10 points. And now, it's the expert's turn to play Quiz Masters in our ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Good luck, everyone. Let's begin. For our first question, let's begin with Prof. Mitzi. Okay. The question now is, what is the title of the fable that was illustrated and published in English by Jose Rizal in the July 1889 issue of Trabner's Oriental Record in London? A. The Crow and the Pitcher. B. The Ant and the Grasshopper. C. The Lion and the Mouse. D. The Monkey and the Turtle. E. The Fox and the Grapes. This is considered the formal beginning of Philippine children's literature. Okay, the correct answer is the monkey and the turtle. Thank you. Prof. Ricky, next question. Astronomy tayo. What is the name of the largest moon in our solar system, which orbits the gas giant Jupiter? A. Titan B. Ganymede C. Europa D. Callisto E. Amalthea Ben A. Titan Mali Nico C. Europa Mali Rav B. Ganymede Ganymede is one of Jupiter's four largest moons, collectively known as the Galilean moons discovered by Galileo Galilei. 
Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Lu. Philippine history. This was considered the longest revolt in Philippine history which occurred during the Spanish occupation. A. Tamblot Revolt B. Basi Revolt C. Bangkau Revolt D. Dagohoy Revolt E. Silang Revolt The correct answer is D. Dagohoy Revolt. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Mitzi. Okay, so here's the question. Who is the Filipino film, television, and theater actress who gained international recognition for the Palme d'Or Prize Award at the Cannes Film Festival for her performance in Triangle of Sadness? Nikos. Uh, D. Dolly Gillian. She became the first Filipino actor to be nominated for the British Academy Film Awards and the Golden Globe Awards. The answer is correct. K check. Thank you. Next, Prof. Ricky. Okay. Life sciences time. Which biomolecule is commonly referred to as the body's energy currency? and is involved in various cellular processes. A. Proteins B. Nucleic acids C. Carbohydrates D. Adenosine triphosphate Nikos D. Aden adenosine triphosphate ATP is often called the body's energy currency as it provides energy for cellular activities. K. Check. Thank you so much. Next, Prof. Lu. This is a geography question. What is the largest city in the world with a population of 37.8 million people as of 2023? A. Jakarta, Indonesia B. Shanghai, China C. Delhi, India Ben. C. Delhi, India That's incorrect. Letter D. Tokyo, Japan. Ram. D. Tokyo. That is the correct answer. Tokyo, Japan. K. Check. Next, Prof. Mitzi. What is the theory in psychology found in the 20th century that provided the foundation for the contemporary study of perception? A. Formalism. B. Gestalt. C. Modernism, D. Behaviorism, E. Humanism. It emphasizes that we perceive things as a whole rather than individual component. The whole of anything is greater than its part. The answer is Gestalt. Next question. In material science, what is the term for the ability of a material to deform under stress and return to its original shape upon the removal of the stress? A. Brittleness B. Ductility C. Elasticity Nikos. C. Elasticity is the property of a material to deform under stress and return to its original shape when the stress is removed. Okay, check. Next, Prof. Lu. Asian history. Who was the first Prime Minister of India upon its independence in 1947? A. Mohandas Gandhi B. Jawaharlal Nehru C. Rajiv Gandhi D. Manmohan Singh E. Muhammad Ali Jina The correct answer is B. Jawaharlal Nehru Thank you. Now we're off to the last set of questions for this round. Prof. Mitzi. This question is about music and theater. What is the Andrew Lloyd Webber anthology-style musical that was based on the poems of T.S. Eliot, 
the poet, essayist, publisher, literary critic, and editor. A. Starlight Express. B. Joseph and his amazing dream coat. C. Cats. D. Sunset Boulevard. E. Grease. This is a story about the cat's competition to decide which will be reborn to go to heaven side layer, which is heaven. And this um, is the longest running shows in West End and Broadway history. And um, the song Memory was one of the famous songs from this musical. The correct answer is cats. This question is for simple measurement. If a rectangle has a length of eight units and a width of five units, what, what is its area? Nikos. 40 units squared. The area of a rectangle is given by the formula A is equal to length times width, K check. And the final question, Prof. Lu. This is another Asian history question. Before its independence in 1971, what was the name of the country of Bangladesh? Letter A, Assam. B, Bengal. C, Northeast India. D, East Pakistan. E, Manipur. D, East Pakistan. That is correct. Okay, check. So congratulations to Nikos, our K-Check Weekly winner with a final score of 195 points. We'll see him again in the semifinals when he competes with our other weekly winners. Congratulations. Thank you also to Sari, to Rav, and to Bem for joining. And of course to our experts, Professor Mitzi, Professor Ricky, and Professor Lu. Thank you so much. I'm Jules Gia. And I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again on Monday for another K-Check. Hey,